That means we're in the fairly early days of Super Mario Nation. Right, right, I see. In fact, in the region of Four Feather Falls to Supercar. Oh, that is early. Hmm. So, yeah. during the course of both series, the show's characters often found themselves in gunfights and shootouts yeah. and so on. Not so yeah. much Mike Mercury, although he had mm. his moments. But notably, Tex Tucker's magic guns were often used to save the day in Four Feather Falls, as I'm sure yep. you recall. Uh -huh. In order to create the effect of the guns firing, the puppeteers would jerk the puppet's arm back as they fired their gun. Yeah. But instead of there being a real explosive charge planted in the gun, the flash of the shot would later be painted onto the film negative. Right. This right. was done with black paint, which would of course show up as white on the positive, and the painting was very often done by John Reed. Okay. Uh, also, uh, the effect of lightning would be done in the same way. Oh, yes, I see. As time went on, however, the team started to experiment with how they achieved the effect of gunfire. So, from the second season of Supercar onwards, you'll start to see real explosive flashes at the ends of the guns. Right. And moving into XL5, you start to see some very large flashes of flame from Steve Zodiac's ray gun. Cool. Mm, very cool. Uh, this effect would be achieved by putting a charge in the prop gun and running a wire from the gun up the puppet sleeve back yeah. down the costume and all the way Ooh. out the bottom of their trousers uh, to an off-screen battery. You connect the wire to the battery and bang, there is your gunshot. Nice. Now, after Fireball XL5, the gunfire effect starts to get a little more inconsistent. Possibly mm. because some of the gunfire effects seen in XL5 really do look quite dangerous. <laughs> right. Uh, going into Stingray, the gunfire effect almost seems to be down to whatever the director felt like doing on the day. For yeah. instance, we see a shootout in the episode Hostages of the Deep, in which not a single puppet scale gun is actually shown to fire, just sound effects and puppets jerking as they fire shots. Okay, yeah. Yet in the master plan, Troy and Phones have a huge shootout with the Aquafibians in Titan's throne room, with guns being shown to fire real charges all over the place. <laughs> then, in Thunderbirds, it's a similar thing once again. The Tracy boys have their blue and red pistols. Penelope and Parker have guns, so there's quite a few shootouts throughout the series using real explosive yeah. charges. But then, yep. in The Perils of Penelope and Operation Crash Dive, we see the guns just light up when they're fired rather than use actual charges. Uh, okay. From Captain Scarlet onwards, however, it was pretty much standardised. Charges almost all the way uh, through in conventional pistols and machine guns, although some notable exceptions are the Spectrum Space Suit Pistol in Crater 101 mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. Joe 90's Proton Lance in The Professional, both of which uh, have a light, a light which lights up when they're fired. Yes, I see. But when you see Scarlet or Joe firing their pistols with real explosive charges in their guns, just remember that it started all the way back in Four for the Falls with John Reed and some black paint. God, that's interesting. I mean, there's the history of television effects, really, mm. in yes. one fab fact. Yeah. The evolution. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is quite the evolution, isn't it? Miniaturising yes. things, that's uh, right. going bigger, better, thinking, how yeah, can we do yeah. this in camera? Yeah, it's really quite oh, amazing. Also, how, can we, you know, how do we save a bit of money, which I'm sure was the uh, intent behind not showing any of the... Uh, the charges in that one particular episode. Let's, yes. you know, have the, have the shots fired off screen and just see their arms jerking. That'll yeah. save a bit. That'll also do. save a bit of time. Yeah, yeah, that's true and saves any potential accidents too. I mean, I was yes. watching recently uh, Supercar Pirate Plunder, I think is the name of the mm -hmm. episode. I may have got that wrong. And um, on the pirate ship, the guy's firing a big anti-aircraft type gun at Supercar. And yeah. all those frames clearly have been painted on to the negative with black black paint. But it's still, oh, in the see, moment, yes, it's quite yes. convincing. It's surprisingly so. Yeah, but, exactly. But, as we all know, an actual pyrotechnic on screen is the coolest thing to see. It really is, yeah. It really is. And it's particularly cool when you're lucky enough to have been handed a pyrotechnic to use on screen, Ooh. as I was as, uh, as Orin. That's fantastic. When they, give you a, when they take the prop gun from you and say, uh, all right, Richard, uh, here's your practical, here's your working gun. So, live, live gun on set, everyone. So that's a <laughs> bit of a thrill. Yeah, and you can feel that kick as you shoot it as well. But oh, the yeah. interesting thing is when is when you're being shot and you have to they put squibs, what they call squibs, little yeah. uh, little charges beneath your uh, costume, which uh, you know kind of blow out through the through the fabric. Yeah, yeah, exciting stuff. Painful? Not painful. No, you certainly feel it. Just a little like but someone flicking you hard in the chest. Is that uh, sort that's, of feel? That's what it is. Yeah, which is obviously I'm, something I'm very used to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
always oi, happens. Oi, flick, flick, flick. <laughs> oi, Richard, flick, flick. Richard, 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 flick, flick, flick. Yeah. yeah. That's why they yeah, call me that's Mr. Squib. Good. I like that. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> well, there you go. A fascinating fab fact this week, all about gunfire and uh, black paint. Mm. What's not to like? Yeah. Uh, exactly. I think that brings us to the end of this week's... Bang, Bang Fact! fact.